Good morning, friends, and welcome to the fifth Sunday in Lent on our journey to the mystery of Easter. I love that we have four seasons, fall, winter, spring, and summer. But in Minnesota, spring can be long. One day it's warm and sunny, the next day it's snowing. I miss leaves on the trees, flowers on the table, eating fresh garden grown and farmer's market fruit and vegetables. I miss hugging my 97 year old grandma and my grown kids and being able to see all the people I love without wearing a mask and being six feet apart. This spring, I'm really missing all of you. But instead of focusing on empty branches and empty gardens, empty sanctuaries and empty Sunday school classrooms, I'm reminded today of what it means to be filled with hope and how planting seeds, like the ones from your Lent in a letter, or these carrot seeds, is a sign of hope in the new life of spring. I'm not expecting things to go back to the way they were, but I am excited for new possibilities. In today's gospel reading, people are asking to see Jesus, and Jesus answers with a story about why he's here. Jesus came into the world so that we can see who God is and how much God loves us and the world God created. Jesus says, listen carefully. Unless this seed is buried in the ground, dead to the world, it is never more than a seed. But if it is buried, it sprouts and grows and makes more seeds. Think about it. We can imagine all the possibilities these seeds contain. Will they grow into a carrot, an apple tree, some kind of wild flower. But if these seeds aren't planted, they're never more than a seed. This reminds me of another story called The Carrot Seed by Ruth Krauss, pictures by Crockett Johnson. This copy is from my mom's fifth grade classroom. A little boy planted a carrot seed. His mother said, I'm afraid it won't come up. His father said, I'm afraid it won't come up. And his big brother said, it won't come up. Every day, the little boy pulled up the weeds around the seed and sprinkled the ground with water. But nothing came up and nothing came up. Everyone kept saying it wouldn't come up, but he still pulled up the weeds around it every day and sprinkled the ground with water. And then one day a carrot came up just as the little boy knew it would. I wonder, did you no, the carrot would come up? I wonder, how did you know? I wonder what hope we hold together as a beloved community for a more inclusive world. Seeds of possibility for bearing the fruits of justice and peace with a wide open future in God. There's a familiar phrase among activists and immigrant rights movement people around the world that seems to have originated with a Greek poet named Dinos Christianopoulos. 
They tried to bury us. They didn't know we were seeds. Let's close today with a children's creed from Pastor Anna that ECLC Kids, Youth, and Families will be leading this summer. I believe in a God who creates us. I believe in Jesus who saves us. And I believe in the Holy Spirit who makes us holy. Amen.